Hey my lovely friends, welcome to Creative Art. I am Nilima and in today's tutorial we are going to make this simple and beautiful hydrangea flower using a glittering liner and glass colors. As this tutorial is for all my beginner friends, we have kept this painting really easy and simple by using two different colors of shading. First, for flower, we are going to use sea blue and white to get such a beautiful and natural looking petal shading. Second, for leaves, we are going to use yellow and green. So friends, do watch the complete tutorial to make this beautiful and simple glass painting of hydrangea for yourself. And do subscribe to Creative Art for more creative art tutorial. And do press the bell icon so you don't miss any updates on a recent art form. Now let's check out all the materials we are going to use for this DIY. First of all, for glass painting, we are going to need glass colors and a base. For colors, I am going to use Fevacryl glass colors which are available in 10 shades and they are water based. Next, for the lining, this time I am going to use a special glittering liner which is from Camel Fabrica Acrylic Color Liner which do comes in so many different shades. This time I am going to use three different shades. First is 179 Snow 3D Glitter, second is 190 Blue 3D Glitter and third one is 179 Mint 3D Glitter. In case you don't get these shades, you can also use 160 silver 3D glitter, 161 blue glitter or 175 green glitter. So all these six colors are the best options for this painting. Next, for base, you can either use a OHP sheet or nowadays the most and easily available things are the photo frames or the picture frames that you can readymately buy. Just separate the picture frame and take out the glass piece that you get in it and use it as a base for your glass painting. The other things we are going to need are a reference that you can either print out from Google or directly get it from my website which is www.creativearthome.com Next, for popping out all the bubbles, use a pin or for removal of excess color, use few cotton buds, a tape and scissor to secure all the four sides. List of all these materials will be mentioned and linked in the description box below from where you can buy them online. And friends, if you use my code which is NILIMA5, N-I-L-I-M-A-5, you will get an additional 5% off on your entire purchase from itsybitsy.in. Now let's start the tutorial friends. Now first of all, let's start by separating all the pieces of the frame. So this is the back side. You just have to remove these black clips and then you can easily take out the cardboard which is placed on the back side. Then here is the glass piece that we need. Now spray some glass cleaner on the glass surface and using a paper towel or a napkin, clean the glass very neatly. Now after cleaning both the sides, place the reference sheet under the glass in this way, exactly where you want it to be. Now after securing all the sides, place it on a comfortable surface that is easy for you in lining. And for liner, I'm going to use the 3D glitter liner and this one is 161 blue color. Using this liner, as you can see the center of the hydrangeas, just make these simple tiny dots. Now next I'm going to use the lime green color. You can also use 157 green color which is a little dark than this one. We will let all these dots get dry and till that I'm going to do the leaf lining part. If you're not very comfortable in lining just do it in small steps and then repeat the gaps. Now 
Now in the same way I'm going to complete the lining part using green liner and then for flowers I'm going to use 160 silver 3D glittering liners and then finally I'll show you how does it looks okay now after completing the lining part this is how beautiful our design looks so now we will let it get dry for at least 24 hours and then we'll start the coloring part now after 24 hours the lining part is completely dry so remove the back side reference and place it on a plain horizontal surface and now this is so beautiful beautiful the glittering lining looks the borders itself are giving that glittering shiny look so now friends let's start our coloring part and for that we are going to use a fabricrel glass colors which are water based and available in 10 shades this is going to be a very very simple coloring part and for flowers we're just going to use two colors the first is white and second is blue and for leaves we're going to use crystal green and yellow color hydrangeas are quite small flowers in size and that's why we don't need a very much perfection in the shading part so I'm going to use just two colors. The first is blue and the second is white. And we don't have to do the mixing because of the small flower size. They'll mix up themselves. So first, considering the blue center dot, just place one drop of blue in each petal like this. It's just a teeny tiny small drop. And then use white to fill up the remaining of the petal as the petal is quite small in size both the colors will mix up by themselves first place the blue drops and then place the white drops In case there are any bubbles, use a cotton bud to pop out the bubbles or you can also use a pin. Now do the same for rest of the flowers. After coloring the flower petals, let's start coloring the leaves. And for that, we're going to use crystal green color and yellow color. First of all, I'm going to use crystal green and color the sides. If you're not good in shading, you can also use a combination of crystal green and yellow in 50-50 quantity and directly place it in this way. So this will just mix up all the colors and it will be really really easy for you in shading. And in the center now I'm going to use yellow. Just a little bit. This is a very very easy way of shading. In case you are not good in mixing colors, simply mix the in between color. Let me show you once again. First use the crystal green on the borders. Then use yellow in the middle stem of the leaf. And then use a mixture of yellow and crystal green in an empty bottle to make the light green color. Fill it up in the middle part and this is how you'll get a natural shading. This looks very very pretty and it's also easy to do, right? And do the same for rest of the leaves and now for the stems I'm going to use the crystal green color. Now after completing the color
coloring part in case you notice any bubbles on flowers or leaves pop them up using a cotton bud or a pin and now finally friends we will let it get dry completely for at least 24 hours and then i will show you how does it look okay now it's finally been 24 hours and our painting is also completely dry this is how it looks from the back side we have got quite a nice volume because of the glittering liners we have used so now friends let's turn it out and finally this is how beautiful beautiful it looks from the front i absolutely love the glittering part the liner we have done for this painting and we have also got so many different shades of these glittering liners so do try out these glittering liners in your next painting now let's put all the pieces in the frame first we'll go the glass in this way the smooth side is the outer side so that you can clean the glass easily the rough side which is the painting side we did painting on it with the glittering liners and everything will be inside the frame you can either place a white blank paper for the background or aluminium foil or the best is to place a mirror and other than that, you can use different glittering sheets, glittering foils. That is completely your choice. Now, this is the final piece. Lock the pins in this way, all the sides. And then, this is how beautiful, beautiful our glittering glass painting looks. And now, finally, friends, this is how beautiful our hydrangea glass painting looks when I have placed it inside the frame. And I have also decorated the border using some dry hydrangeas, which I use for my resin art. This was a really easy and simple painting that you should definitely, definitely give try. I have also hand painted the border so the painting rises up more beautifully in it. So friends, do give it a try, make it yourself and do tell me in the comments below what do you think about this tutorial. And if you do like my tutorials friends, please do like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.